Thanks very much, Jason, for joining us on uh, TPL Live. Excited about uh, the prospect of winning another Oaks? Oh, well, winning my first Oaks, yeah. Our first um, Oaks? Yeah, it's been a race that's really alerted me. It, um, it's been on the bucket list, and it was, a, it was the number one race I really wanted to win this season, so I'm really thankful to be in a position to ride Jennifer Eccles, and uh, hopefully we can fulfil the dream. How has uh, her preparation been through your eyes? No doubt you've kept an eye on her. Yeah, she looks to have taken no harm from the two starts over ground this season. She was more impressive in the Lowland than what she was in the Sir Tristram. Um, or the Karen Fenton Alice Trophy is now. Um, no, nah, couldn't be happy with her. her work during the week from all reports has been amazing. So, you know, everything looks good apart from the obvious. Well, the obvious being uh, the draw, I suppose. What What are you thinking initially? Uh, what What are the keys to you winning the race, given you've drawn the outside? I have no idea, to be honest. They're, they're going to leave all instructions to me, and I won't have any plan in my head until the gates open, until I see a few races today and how the track's racing. But, yeah, there is, I won't be giving away any game plan on this one, so I don't even know what I'm going to do myself. Um, my decision will be made pretty much in about 50 metres after we leave the barriers, so whether I decide where I'm going to try and get in anywhere. When she won the Lowland, uh, the first two or three hundred metres of that, she, she appeared to be quite keen. Is that the case, or how, how would you sort of describe how she raced uh, throughout there? Look, she's a, she's a horse that does travel quite cleanly and she does in all of her races, whether it's going to be 1,200 metres or 2,400 metres. She's always going to be a, a horse that's on the bit, sort of a little bit overworking, a little bit like Debbie Coates used to. That's just, just her makeup. So she's not going to be relaxed through any part of the running. It's just whether how much I can get in not to overdo it and overuse some of that, um, that, that built-up energy that she's got. She certainly exploded um, at the back end of the Lowland. How much confidence uh, did that performance give you with regards to today? Uh, look, uh, to be honest, if I thought she drew inside five or six, it uh, would only be a matter of how much she wins by, not if she wins. She, the, the feeling she gave me in the Lowland was probably a feeling I've only had one or two times on, on horses, you know. Um, nah, just really lucky to be riding fully like her and like I said, yeah. She shows me a lot of confidence, although she does a lot of things wrong with her, with her pulling and that. But um, that's just her. You know, she's a female. Some of them are a little bit difficult than others. Uh, you, you, you're up against uh, a whole lot of females in the Oaks uh, today uh, with Loire, uh, one of the better supported runners uh, in futures outside of Jennifer Eccles. Would you say that she's um, your biggest competition, Communique or, or Showbill? What are you thinking? Yeah, well, Who's your biggest Loire competition? Seems to be. Loire would seem to be on paper. They've had a pretty good rivalry, you know. Um, it, it looked early on to me as if Loire would have had the edge over Jennifer Eccles once we got a mile plus, but it seems to have gone completely the other way. Um, the Loire looked like the real staying horse, but she just hasn't been able to keep up with Jennifer when she sprinted in her last two starts. And, you know, she's got to make up four or five lengths on her. Um, you know, it can be done. We've seen what happened in the derby to those brilliant horses. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure. Communicate a, a really good filly. She won a good Sunline Vars the other day. Um, whether she's real classy enough, I don't know. It's an interesting race. Apart from Jennifer Rickles, there's probably about six or seven that you'll be putting into your tries and first fours anyway. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a very competitive renewal outside of the dominating favourite in Jennifer Eccles, and uh, she's right to the fore of the market for the Australian Oaks be behind Australian star Funstar, and of course Probabil, who competes against Funstar later today. So, uh, obviously, very well performed uh, Group One winners in their own right. Those two fillies, and Jennifer Eccles has uh, planted just in behind them at that price there. Uh, just. Briefly uh, discussing Enzo's Lad. You're looking forward to riding Enzo's Lad in the Dash and the Lightning? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to riding him. I've ridden him on, on one occasion and the track was off and he carried a lot of weight. Um, but he's a real cool horse to ride. He obviously, he loves Wellington and he loves the firm track, so he's got a couple of factors in his advantage today. Um, it'd be great to renew my association with the Pittman team. You know, they supported me a lot as an apprentice, so it'd be great to have a ride for Michael and Matthew again. And... Uh, Fingers crossed we can get the job done for them. 
Looks to be a little bit of pace that has come out of that race and now on paper it seems that Wicker Force might get it largely uncontested. Uh, tactically, any thoughts as to what you might do with him and, and how positive you might or might not be out of the gates? Speaking to Michael, I'll speak to him first, but my sort of first suggestion would be maybe just to follow Wicker Force across and try and get him up his handy. You know, he's not going to better come from four or five minutes off and running sub-33, carrying 58 kilos, so... I think if we can get across, maybe he can even get up. If, he, if he's got the gate speed to get up outside with the force, I think that may give him the best opportunity to win the race. Excellent. So uh, three rides today for you and, uh, of course, Enzo's lad and uh, Jennifer Reckles, the two uh, best of those. Uh, are you you're just getting a little bit itchy at the prospect of uh, potentially that New Zealand Oaks being ticked off? Yeah, 100%. Looking forward to, you know, it's... Uh, we're from Wellington, you know, my mum's birthday falls on, on, on this weekend, most most years around the Oaks, so that's just in a couple of days from today on Jim Paddy's day, so, you know, if we could uh, win that, you know, I know she'd be definitely looking down on me, so I'll give her a little wave, and, uh, you know, it'd be great just, you know, for her to really stamp the filly of the year series as a clear and dominant winner, which she has been the last two, and really finish uh, the last season off with the group one that she thoroughly deserves. Jason Waddell, we wish you all the best uh, today uh, with your three rides and thanks for uh, giving us your time as you prepare uh, to try and win the Albasti Equal Dubai New Zealand Oaks for the very first time.